I'm sitting in my chair for this video and I also have my notebook in hand, which can only mean one thing. And that is I have a huge video in store for you. So now that it's officially fall today, I'm, I'm sharing a month's worth of work outfit ideas. There are about 20 working days in the month. So I have 20 outfits to share so many great pieces. And these outfits are very classic outfits. I think if you were to stumble upon this video, like a year from now, two years from now, all the outfits would still very much be in style, but I say they're very classic outfits, but also classic with a modern twist in the styles and the silhouettes. I organized today's video into three different categories. So I have work outfits with boots and booties, work outfits with trousers, and work outfits with jeans because I know a lot of you can wear jeans to work. And everything I'm sharing today will be linked in the description box down below. And we'll jump into our first category, which is work outfits with boots and booties. And starting off with what I'm wearing here, which is no surprises, a sweater dress. I can wear a sweater dress and knee high boots every day in the fall and the winter. And I often do. It is such an easy outfit. It's comfortable. It's warm. And I love that you can wear it for so many different occasions. You can wear it for work, for brunch every day. Okay, so in other words, it is so versatile. So this dress is in my favorite color for the fall. It's this beautiful, like a merlin wine color. This dress is made out of somewhat of a lighter weight knit material so it's perfect for fall. It's stretchy, very comfortable, and it's an A-line shape to it. And it also has a subtle mock neck. Here I paired it with these knee-high boots. They're in a very pretty I guess you would call it like a light beige color, maybe like a dark bone color. And I love the thick block heel. I generally find those type of heels to be very comfortable. And I would say the heel is probably like three and a half inches, so very comfortable. And I think these boots come in, I want to say two other colors. I know they come in this beautiful like red, I say red, but not like a bright red, but like a really pretty deep burgundy red. I ordered those so pretty and I believe they also come in black. I almost forgot to mention sizing. So this sweater dress runs true to size, also comes in one other color, comes in this really pretty blue color and the boots also run true to size. And moving on to our next outfit and I swear I have more <laughs> to share other than sweater dresses, but I just love a good sweater dress. So here, oh, ignore any makeup scenes. This is hot off my <laughs> laundry basket. I wore this the other day, so I need to wash it, but, but wanted to include it in the video because it is such a pretty dress. So I have it here in this gray color. Also comes in, I believe black. I know it comes in one other color. I believe that color is black. So it is a midi length. It's made out of a lightweight knit material. It has a mock neck. I love the sleeves because it's kind of like a cap sleeve to it and it's stretchy, very comfortable. Also comes with the belt around the waist. And it also has slits at the side, which is so pretty. So when you're walking, your boots will show ever so slightly. And I would say this dress runs true to size. And here is a closer look at the boots I'm wearing. So they are, they're a knee high boot. I don't know technically, but they do have, so they look like this when you buy them in online, they look like they are a knee high boot, but when you actually have them on, they kind of scrunch down a little which I wasn't expecting, but I was pleasantly surprised when I put them on for the first time. I'm like, oh, that's different. I like it. So it does scrunch down a little. So I did want to point that out that although they look like they're a tall standing knee high boot, they do gather a little bit at the ankle, which I really like that. The heel on these, I would say it's probably like a two inch heel. So very comfortable, super soft. Also comes in black and I would say they're on true to size. One piece of clothing that I get so excited about to come back every fall and winter and that is faux leather. I love faux leather. I feel like it's so chic no matter how you style it. I remember last fall and winter one of my favorite outfits were just every day running my errands was black faux leather pants. I would wear these classic mini Ugg boots, turtleneck sweater, and a fall coat and it was comfortable. It was warm but also I feel like a little chic and elevated with the faux leather pants. I thought this was such a chic work outfit. Also a great outfit to wear if you're going from like work to dinner afterwards. So here I'm wearing this black faux leather skirt. I feel like it looks and feels like real leather to me. It is such beautiful quality. Also comes in camel, which I also have because I love this one so much. And it has such beautiful details to it, which is very on brand with Karen Millen. I feel like Karen Millen clothing always has the most unique details to it. So it has paneling here. It's a wrap style and it has this gold buckle here on one side and it has a zipper in the back. It's a midi length and sizing. So I usually size up one size in caramel and I'm usually a uh, US size six and that's what I'm wearing in this skirt. I love these sleeveless knit tops this time of year just because our weather is so up and down this time of year. I think it was four days ago. I turned on my heat for the first time and then last night I ended up turning on my air conditioning. I'm like, oh my gosh, it is all over the place. So these are perfect and also a really great layering piece. So you can wear it like this. Maybe in the mornings fits a little on the chilly side, wear a blazer over the top and take it off as the day goes on. And here is a closer look at the knee high boots I'm wearing. So they are made out of a really soft suede material. They also come in a black leather and kind of like a light bone color. And I would say the heel height is probably 
three inches and they have a hidden zipper on the inside and I would say these run true to size. This outfit is like the epitome of fall. Such a beautiful outfit and such a classic outfit that will always be in style. And I feel like plaid and houndstooth is a must have for fall. So here I'm wearing this pleated midi skirt and the colors in it are, I believe it's black and this really pretty like dark burgundy color, which just lightning bolt went off in my head that I think this skirt would also look really nice with a red shoe. If you watch my 10 fall fashion trends video, pops of red is a huge trend for fall. And so the, the skirt has the pop of red and I think a red shoe looks so pretty with this outfit as well. And you can also wear this outfit with a beige pump if it's still a little warm where you live. And we can't talk about fall without talking about fall coats, which I love a good fall coat. So here I'm wearing this camel coat. I believe it's made out of I think it's made out of a wool blend material. It's, it's a very soft coat though, and it's not lined, so it's perfect for fall. And because it's not lined, it also has such a beautiful drape to it. I got this coat from Nordstrom, but it's by Reese, and they have such beautiful coats. I love Reese outerwear. I feel like they do coats so well. Such great quality. I have coats from Reese that go back to probably over five years that are still in style, still in really good shape. So this one is a midi length. It has these slit pockets, and it also has... A belt so you can also belt it in the front and speaking of houndstooth i thought the style of the skirt was so pretty it's an a-line shape to it it is a midi length it's lined and the colors in it are black and kind of like an off-white color and i paired it here with the same boots that i shared oh, with the black faux leather skirt I don't remember how i shared it but you'll be seeing those boots quite a bit they are such a classic boot i paired it here with the sleeveless knit top it also has that mock neck to it it's stretchy it's soft and the length on it, it is, it's not really a full length. It's a bit of a cropped length, but it's not cropped where it's going to show your stomach, but cropped so that when you tuck it into the skirt or pants, it'll fall like right here on the skirt. So you're not having all this extra fabric when you tuck it. And sizing, I would say both pieces run at true to size. And I forgot to talk about sizing on the last outfit. So that skirt runs true to size and sizing on the coat. So I almost always size up one size in Reese clothing. So I did size up one size in the coat. I'm wearing a US size six and it is an oversized fit on me, which I do prefer, especially because I'll be layering sweaters under it. But if you prefer a more fitted look, then just get your usual size. I cannot wait to wear this sweater dress. It's such a unique style to it. So it's a midi length. It's made out of a lightweight knit material. It's stretchy, very comfortable, and very soft. And I love the front slit. I think it has such a unique style to it. And it has such a pretty movement to it when you're walking. I love the front slit detail. I feel like you don't see that too often. And with this material, because it's a lighter weight material, so when you're walking, it fans out a little bit so that your leg and your boots will show ever so slightly. And it is it has these kind of cap sleeves. It's a turtleneck style. And I did want to point out that from pretty much the waist down, I feel like the material, I don't think it's lined or anything. It's not lined, but the material I feel like is thicker from the waist down. So from the waist up, the material, it's, it's not sheer, but I feel like you definitely do need to be a little cautious on what undergarments you wear under it because it could potentially show or maybe wear a camisole underneath. So I did want to point that out. And sizing on this one, it runs true to size. I love mixing textures this time of year. I feel like it makes an outfit so much more interesting. So this dress, it's, I'm not too sure of the material on it. It is, it has that satin look and feel to it. So it has such a pretty sheen to it. I have it here in this, it's like a champagne bone color. Also comes in black and a really pretty blue color. It's the blue, it's not like a sky blue. It's somewhere in between like a sky blue and a navy blue. Somewhere in between that. Very, very pretty. And it's a midi length and it has such a beautiful flow to it when you're walking. And here I paired it with those taupe knee high boots that I shared. Gosh, I can't remember what outfit I shared it with. I think it was the first or second outfit. Now it's just all a blur. So that concludes the boot section of today's video. And now moving on to work outfits with trousers. And a plot twist, adding a new category. This one didn't quite fit into any of the other categories. I just walked by it when I was picking up some trousers. I'm like, I need to share this one because it is such a beautiful dress. So next category, new category number four is work dresses. Or I should probably just say work dress because I'm only sharing one dress. But anyway, so it is in this gorgeous wine color, which you know I love. And it has right at the knees, I would say. And it is stretchy, super comfortable. It's lined. It has an exposed gold zipper going down the back, which I feel like elevates it. And it has this beautiful gathering and ruffle detail on one side. Such a gorgeous dress. I feel like you can also wear this dress for a fall wedding. And now we're moving on to the next category, which is work outfits with trousers. 
And all these outfits today I'll be sharing with regular shoes or regular flats, heels, but you can also wear them with ankle boots once it gets colder out. And if you live anywhere like where I live, the weather is so up and down day to day. Sometimes a regular shoe works, sometimes a boot, sometimes a sandal. So it is all over the place. So I thought I would share, would share these outfits with regular shoes. And starting off with this classic work outfit. I love this color combination for fall. So here I'm wearing this camel blazer. It's made of wool blend material. It's lined. It's such great quality. Also comes in, I believe, three other colors. And I did want to mention, I believe I did size up one size in it because I prefer my blazers to be a little on the oversized side. And especially because I know I'll be layering sweaters underneath it. And under the blazer, I'm wearing this sleeveless turtleneck sweater. It's so incredibly soft. It's made out of cashmere. Such a beautiful and classic sweater. And I have it here in this camel color, also comes in kind of like an ivory color, also comes in black. And these have been selling out lately, so I'll link this exact sweater down below. And also some similar options if it's low in stock. And the pants I'm wearing here, so I know I've shared these pants in the past, but I probably share them in a different material. So these are called the Kate Pants, and they are high-waisted and an ankle length. So I have them in the summertime. I wear them in this material. It's the same shape, but just different materials. So this one is... It's called by stretch cotton so it's a lighter weight material so it's good for spring summer maybe early fall it's stretchy very comfortable but the pants i'm wearing here so again same style pants high-waisted ankle pants and they're the kate style pants that's just what they're called and this material it's called hopefully i'm getting this right i believe it's called four season stretch so these are a thicker material so they're great for those colder fall days and winter and again they're the ankle length they have pockets and they also have these slit pockets in the back, but I don't think they're functioning. Oh no, they are. I just never took the stitching out of them. Whoops. <laughs> I'll do that now. And they also come in a few other colors, including navy blue, gray, and camel. And I would say they run true to size. And I would say this runs true to size. It is somewhat of an oversized fit. So I'm wearing it in my usual size, but if you prefer it to be more fitted, then I would say size down one size. If you watch my 10 fall fashion trends video, you'll know the color, the it color, I should say, of the season is brown. And these brown pants are gorgeous. The color, the style. So they are high-waisted. They have pleats in the front, which is also another big trend for fall. They are very comfortable. They're made out of a lighter weight material, so they're great for early fall, like right now. They have belt loops, and then they also have these slit type of pockets in the back which are oh I was gonna say they're not functioning I was gonna say they're not functioning as a play off of the J Crew ones but now <laughs> they are functioning I am horrible at taking off that the stitching on that Oops. <laughs> so they are functioning pockets in the back and then I created a tonal look here I know I shared these in the fall fashion in the 10 fall fashion trends video so I want to share a different way to style them here so here I went for a tonal look here I'm wearing this bodysuit. It's in this gorgeous brown color. It has a turtleneck. It's a very, very soft material and it is lined. It's lined with the same material as this. So it's that super soft material and it's stretchy, very comfortable, comes in, I can't remember how many colors, but it comes in a ton of other colors, we'll say. And I love this outfit together as is, especially right now when it's not super, super cold out, but once it does get colder out, you can also layer a duster cardigan sweater in the same color as that turtleneck. I thought the style and of course the color of this cardigan was stunning. It is very, very soft and it almost has kind of like a waffle knit texture to the material, if you can see that. And I love the subtle beige or camel trim here. I love this exaggerated collar and it's a very stretchy, it's comfortable. And it also comes in one other colorway. I'm drawing a blank on the colors, I believe it's black and this trim color, it's either white or camel. I can't remember. <laughs> I was so torn on which color to get, but I feel like I don't have too many cardigan sweaters in this color, so I had to have this one. And I paired it here with these beige wide leg pants. So they are high waisted and they're made out of, I'm hesitant to say lightweight material because they're they're not light, lightweight. They're in between like a lightweight and a heavyweight. So midweight, I guess. So great for this time of year. So they are high-waisted. They are not lined either. And I believe they also come in black and maybe one other color. And I do would say they run a little on the big side. So I did size down one size in these and this cardigan runs true to size. Moving on to our next outfit. And if you follow me over on Instagram, this one will probably look familiar. So I shared, I think I titled it work conference 
outfits and I included this wrap sweater in it because I feel like you can wear it so many different ways. Also really great for traveling. So it is so warm and so cozy. And here I'm wearing it with black y -like pants, which would be great for everyday work or if you're going for like a work conference. And for traveling, you can wear it with jeans and flats. And it's such a pretty style to it. So it's camel and then it has this off-white detail to it. And it has, it's kind of hard to share like this, but it has this belt for around the waist. So you can belt it. You can also leave it open. And it's made out of kind of a thicker material, very stretchy, very soft. And I would say this runs true to size. And the black pants, I would say, run a little big. So I did size down one size. This is such a classic work outfit. I wear this literally every fall and winter. It'll never go out of style. A button up shirt underneath a sweater. So classic. So here I'm wearing this camel sweater. It's made out of a lightweight knit material. It's stretchy, very comfortable. Also comes in a few other colors. Can't remember how many. I know it comes in cream. And I want to say black and probably one or two other colors, but I could be wrong on that. And it runs true to size. It's a great sweater to wear this time of year just because it's a lighter weight material and also really great for layering. So when it gets colder out, you can wear this under a blazer. And then I paired it here with these black high-waisted pants. And these are actually the same style pants that I shared in brown, but they're in black. I love the style and fit of these. And it's true to form whether I undid the back pockets. Nope. <laughs> oh, see, it's kind of hard to do. Maybe this one is. No. Let's see, maybe this one really is not functioning, but yeah. <laughs> True to form, I did not undo the pockets in the back. So when you get these, undo the pockets in the back. And I would say these run at true to size. And the number one question in my DMs when I wore this outfit, I think I wore it last Monday. And my number one question was how I layered a white button down shirt under this without having the button show through or the white button up shirt getting all bunchy under, under the sweater. So I shared my secret over on Instagram. I'll pop a picture here. So essentially what I do is so I have the white button up shirt and the one I'm wearing here is actually very oversized. It's called a boyfriend shirt. So it's meant to be like an oversized fit. And as you can see, this is very fitted. So my secret is over the button up shirt, I'll wear a fitted camisole underneath. So the camisole kind of like compresses the button up shirt and it smooths things out and bonus points. It also keeps you extra warm because you have another layer on. I put the sweater on and again, it smooths out the buttons from the button up shirt. And it also helps prevent the button up shirt from getting all bunchy underneath the sweater. Stripes are always in style. And this one has such a unique style to it. So it's a navy blue and white stripes. And then it also has these gold buttons at the top here. And this also comes in black and camel. I don't know if I'm sharing that outfit. I do have that one. I don't know if I have that on my list. Oh, it's awkward. I'm not sharing that one, but, but I'll pop a picture of that one anyways here. And then it also comes in a gray and one other color, I believe black, like a solid black color. And it's stretchy. It's made out of almost like a t-shirt material, like a thicker t-shirt material. So it's stretchy, very comfortable, runs true to size. And I also love that you can wear this casually with jeans. And then here for work, I paired it with these navy blue pants. They're such a great quality pant. I love the fit of them and style. So they are high-waisted. The material, it's, I don't know what material this is. Oh, it's lined. I didn't realize it was lined. It is lined. I was going to say it's a thicker material, so it's great for this time of year. And let's see if I can quickly find the materials. I feel like it's a wool blend. It is a wool blend material. Okay, so it's great for fall, great for winter. And it has the pleats in the front, which again is another big trend for fall. It has pockets, which I did not undo. <laughs> so it does have functioning pockets there and then pockets in the back. And these also have a crease going down the front, which I always feel like elevates pants. And they also have another big trend for fall, which is a cuff at the bottom. They have, I would say probably like a two inch cuff here. You can see that. And they also come in black and I believe a couple other colors and I would say these run true to size and for sizing reference I am 5'6". For this next outfit I thought I would share an outfit with sneakers. Curious if you prefer sneakers or flats or heels or boots or booties when you work so do let me know and I feel like this outfit is such a great outfit also if you're going for a work seminar because the sneakers are so comfortable and if you prefer to wear flats or high heels I would wear a beige flat or high heel with this outfit. So. Here I'm wearing this long duster cardigan. It is made out of a really, really thick material, so it's super warm. And I love the style of it. So it has this lapel collar, which I feel like elevates it, and so it's perfect for work. Also looks really great with jeans. And it's long sleeve. I have it here in this taupe color. Also comes in black, gray. I feel like one other color, like a 
seasonal color, but I could be wrong on that. And I would say this runs true to size, but it is meant to be an oversized fit. So if you want it to be a little more fitted, then I would say size down one size. I'm wearing it in my usual size here, small. And then you can wear this with a white t-shirt, a white button-up shirt. Here I'm wearing it with this, oh, <laughs> not coordinated up for this, oh. <laughs> here I'm wearing it with this ruffle shirt. I've shared this so many times. It's such a beautiful shirt. Great alternative to a white button-down shirt. I think it's so pretty on its own with the ruffle details, the ruffle color, ruffle that's going down the front. But now that it's getting a little colder out, it's also really great for layering under a blazer or cardigan because it, I feel like it accentuates the ruffles. And then here I'm wearing it with these navy blue pants. You could also wear this outfit with black pants. So I went with navy blue here. And these are actually the same style of pants that I shared in black with, I think the first outfit in this category with the camo blazer. They're called the Kate pants, but they're navy blue. So again, they're high-waisted and they're an ankle length. I love a light neutral outfit all year round. And I feel like I almost wear light neutral colors more in the fall and the winter, just because I feel like everything's so dark and dreary, like outside the clothing just in general. So it just like brightens up the mood. So here I'm wearing this tonal outfit and these are actually the same pants that I shared just now in the navy blue and also the black, those Kate pants. So I have them here in this camel color and these are in the, that four season stretch. I believe that's the name of them. So they're that thicker material. So great for fall and winter and they run true to size. And then I paired it here with that same ruffle collar shirt that I just shared. But instead of that long duster cardigan here, I'm wearing this, I guess you would say it's like a sweater blazer, sweater cardigan blazer. It is a little longer length, which I love. It's in this beautiful creamy color. It has these gold buttons and you can button them up and wear it more like a sweater or leave it open and wear it as a cardigan. And it is meant to be an oversized fit. So I am wearing it in my usual size small, but if you prefer it to be a little more fitted, then I would say size down one size in it. And moving on to our final category. Are you still with me? I realize I've been chatting for a very long time because I see the sun is starting to set. So I'm like, oh no, I need to talk a little fast, faster than usual for this next portion, just so that I can hang on to the sunlight. So moving on to workout fits with jeans. And here I'm wearing that same long duster cardigan sweater I just shared, but here I styled it with jeans and these jeans are so good. More of like a medium dark wash and they are such a great fit. Each week over on Instagram, I round up the best sellers from the previous week and these have been a top seller for I think the past, probably the past month. And I think I started sharing these a month ago. So, so needless to say, you all are loving these as well. So they are high waisted. They have a stretch to them. They are a wide leg, but I, but I feel like they're kind of fitted in the hip and thigh area. Very, very comfortable. And they also have this thicker, it's not really a cuff, but it's more of a, I don't know what you would call this, hem. <laughs> you can see that the thicker hem. And here I'm wearing them with booties. And I want to show you actually a close up of the booties. Be right back. So here is a closer look at the booties I'm wearing. So I have them in this really pretty, I guess you'll call it not really camel, kind of like a dark beige color. It's such a beautiful color for fall. Also comes in several other colors and textures. So I have them in the leather. They also come in suede. They come in black. They also come in black suede. I have this gold zipper in the back here. And I would say they run true to size and they have about maybe a two inch heel. And I love this heel shape. I also love the toe because they're not quite like a strong pointy toe. They kind of go also not quite rounded either. Somewhere in between a pointy toe and a rounded toe. And I would say these run true to size. Did I say that already? And then I forgot to talk about sizing on the jeans. So I would say for length reference, I'm five, six and I'm wearing them with these booties and I feel like they work perfectly. But I would say if you are shorter than five, six, you might want to get the petite size. This is another classic fall outfit that will always be in style. Great to wear for work if you're able to wear jeans to work, but you can also wear it outside of work as well. So here I'm wearing this camel colored sweater cardigan. It has the gold buttons and it's meant to be an oversized fit. So I am wearing it in my usual size, but if you want it to be a little more fitted, then I would say size down one size. And it also comes in a handful of other colors that you can wear this exact outfit, but instead of the jeans, wear black pants and wear that to work as well. And the jeans I'm wearing here are from Abercrombie. They have such great jeans and also a great selection of washes. So I have it here in this dark wash. They also come in, I think like 10 other washes. And these are called the ankle Street ultra high rise jean. So they are high rise. <laughs> They're stretchy, very comfortable. They're ankle length. And I would say they do run slightly small. I originally got them in my usual size. I thought they ran a little snug. So I sized up one size and I prefer that better. 
Before I buy something, I always take into consideration how much wear I'll get out of it, whether I can wear it for work, outside of work, whether I can wear it for multiple seasons, whether it'll be in style for multiple seasons. And this striped shirt checks all the boxes. So I shared it earlier paired with navy blue pants. And here I'm wearing it with jeans. So this is a great outfit to wear if you can wear jeans to work. Also a great outfit to wear just in general, like outside of work. And these jeans are high-waisted. They are a straight leg. I love the wash of these. They're kind of like a medium wash, I would say. They're stretchy, very comfortable. I would say they run true to size. The striped shirt and jean combination will always be in style. And I feel like you can always also have fun with this outfit in terms of your accessories. So you can wear this outfit with a beige belly flat, which is a very on-trend shoe at the moment. Although I say that, but I feel like belly flats are always on trend. Or another big trend this season is a pop of red. And I love the combination of navy blue and a pop of red. So you can wear a red shoe with this outfit. And keeping on with that theme of styling things multiple ways. So here I'm wearing the same jeans that I just shared. And this wrap cardigan that I shared earlier, I styled it with... I think I shared it with black pants, if I remember correctly. And here I'm wearing it with jeans. I love the way this looks. Great outfit to wear again for work. You can wear it outside of work. Great travel outfit. Great outfit to wear again if you're going for like a work conference because you can wear this with black pants to the actual seminars. But you can also wear it with jeans when you're actually traveling. And that's it. That's all 20 outfits, a month's worth of work outfit ideas for fall. I say that, but... Hopefully I counted correctly. Hopefully it was all 20. And everything I shared today, again, will be linked in the description box down below. And be sure to follow me over on Instagram. I share a lot more outfit ideas there. I usually share what I'm wearing for work each day. And follow me here on YouTube for more videos like this one. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!